So in this video, we're gonna be talking about Microsoft Teams protection. Now this can also apply to Citrix Workspace, WebEx, or Zoom collaboration tools that we also protect. We're gonna be working with two different scenarios. One's gonna be a cross remote thread, and the other one is going to be a page no access scenario, both process injections. You can see that I have self-protection on so I can show it being protected up front. I'm gonna go ahead and start Teams. You can see I have Teams loaded. You can also see that I have Teams in the Task Manager. My command prompt I elevated to Administrator on this machine. And I'm gonna go ahead and put one of the two commands in there at this point. You can see seven processes were found, zero were terminated means we're doing self-protection against the virtual protect, which is the page is no access. So let's go ahead and do the cross thread. You can see seven processes were found and zero were terminated. So both types of process injections we were protecting against for this particular scenario. Now let's go back and turn self-protection off to show you how Microsoft Teams with these particular process injections can terminate Microsoft Teams if you're in the middle of a meeting. I'm going to go ahead and turn self-protection off. Self-protection again prevents unauthorized changes to software's own processes, registry records, executable and configuration files, and also the backups in the local folders. Let's go ahead and turn this off and we will save it. Now you see self-protection off. Let's go back and run our commands. We'll start with a create remote thread. See eight processes were found and eight processes were terminated. My Microsoft Teams is gone. And you can see two more in here. We're gonna go ahead and run the Virtual Protect Teams one. You can see two processes found, two are gonna be terminated over there shortly. As you can see, they disappeared. So now Microsoft Teams is completely off my system due to process injections. Hope that helps.